welcome to my first um, December daily. And then in December, I get to just like create and have fun and play with it. Like, Tori here. Welcome to my first um, December daily of 2019. So in this video I wanted to just give you guys like a quick idea of what I'm hoping to accomplish this December. I don't actually know if it's possible um, but that's the hope and I'm also going to show you um, my um, December daily junk journal for this year and last year. I might break this into two videos just because I don't want it to be crazy long. Um, but to start, last year I really wanted to do December daily and I made the junk journals and I gathered all the photos and then it didn't actually happen just because I just had a really busy um, season. But I have all the photos and all the things, so I still wanna make last year's December Daily. And then this year, I wanna make one too. So, I am going to attempt, and attempt is the keyword here, to make two December Dailies this year, um, to, to make last year's and this year's. And I don't know if that's gonna happen, but I'm gonna do the best that I can. I really wanna work on this year's at least, and then last year's, like maybe if I don't finish it, that's okay. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. And last year, if you remember being around on my channel, and I'll leave some links below, I made um, junk journals. I made four junk journals. I made four junk journals because I knew that I was headed to Kenya this year, which I'm in Kenya right now, and I didn't wanna to have to bring all of my Christmas supplies, but I thought if I made four junk journals, well, originally it was three, because I was gonna be in Kenya for three years, um, minimum, that I would have a junk journal for each year, and then I could just pull out that junk journal and create in it. And then along the way, I ended up making a fourth one, this one, um, because I had this really cool idea and I just like had to do it. So anyways, I made four junk journals um, and so I decided last year one of them would be last year's junk journal and then I would use the other three for the following three years. So um, yeah, that's kind of the plan. <laughs> so um, and I'm actually really excited about it because I love the way that they turned out. I'm really excited about them. I have two of them here. The other ones I'm not going to show you now, um, but I'll show you in the future. But these are two of them, and I'm really excited about them. One, This one is going to be for um, last year's December Daily. So this will be the 2018 December Daily, and then this one will be this year's 2019 December Daily. So... Um, they are Coptic book bound junk journals and I'm really excited about them. Um, I'm really looking forward to creating with them. Now it might seem super ambitious to be like, I'm doing two December dailies this year. And it probably is. And like, let's be honest, I might not actually accomplish it. But my thought process is that at um, Rift Valley Academy, the school that I'm at, um, for the whole month of December, I'm off basically. Um, and there's no students around, so my schedule is going to be like a lot simpler. And because I'm like new here and I don't know a ton of people yet and I don't really know what I'm doing, I probably am going to have a lot of time to create. Um, so I think I can actually do it. So 
In this video, I'm going to show you this year's December Daily, and in the next one, I'll give you um, an in-depth look at this one. But just to keep things simple, let's just start with this one. Hopefully the lighting is not that bad. Can't actually see, hold on. There we go. And so um, this December Daily album cover, um, I got online from Colorcast Designs and it comes plain. So it just has the word December, but these things are not on there. And it comes with a front and back cover. And usually I think it only has two holes or maybe one hole here and one hole here. I actually asked her to put in extra holes for me because I wanted my Coptic junk journal to be like really secure and I felt like six holes would be a good number so she added the extra holes for me which I'm so thankful for and then I um, bound it together with Coptic book binding so I'm not going to show you how to do that um, because my suggestion would be if you want to learn how to do Coptic book binding like isn't this gorgeous um, that you go check out Paige Evans Taylor. Paige is like such an inspiration to me. I love that lady, she's like amazing. Um, but if you go check out her website, she actually sells a class where I learned how to do Coptic book binding and it was so easy to follow and you'll love it. Anyways, and then on the front cover here, I added these little houses, which I believe these houses came from Felicity Jane these little trees and the stars as well came from Felicity Jane and I just like glued them on there to create like this December landscape. And I love the way that this cover turned out. Like originally I thought I might add some white paint to it, but like I love the wood, like the different tones of wood on here. Okay, and then on the spine, I have all these different baubles and charms. Um, this pine cone comes from Tim Holtz. This felt star, I believe, comes from Felicity Jane. This, I think, is this gold star, I believe, is crepe paper. I've got some buttons. I've got um, this charm from Paige Evans, some beans, some paper clips. I think this paper clip is also Felicity Jane. Um, and then this is one of my favorite things on the spine. I have this, let's see if I can pop it open. It's like a locket. It does open. It's like a locket charm. So I'm thinking that I could put like a picture or a couple pictures or the date or something in there, but I haven't decided yet, but something will go in there. So that's the outside and I'm just gonna do like a quick flip through of the insides of the album for those of you who are wondering it's already pretty chunky and it doesn't have anything in it but you know I really like chunky December dailies so it's got one two three four five six seven eight signatures um, there and um, I just used a combination of different um, papers, double-sided, single-sided, Project Life cards like this one, um, glassine or gassine bags, and I did lots of stitching in here, um, adhering things down to create like pockets that you could tuck things in. Um, there's got guest checks, some flip outs, a tuck pocket here, and I did a junk journal on my trip to Uganda a number of years ago, if you remember that. I'll try to remember to leave a link below for it. Um, and I loved it so much. Like it was just so much fun to journal in because you can like find all these really fun places to journal or add photos or um, receipts or whatever. And so um, I'm not gonna necessarily like have one day be like, this is day two. Um, but I'm just gonna kind of like journal as much as I want to about day two and then maybe add like a photo or two or whatever and um, that will be kind of how it works out. I'm hoping I can film as much of it as I can for you guys. Um, and there's just all these like fun places. There's also some vintage book pages. 
take these cute little Christmas bunnies. Tis the season. I did some stitching here. And I thought that could be like a good place to journal on the side there. Um, I haven't trimmed off any of my stitching lines yet, or extra threads, like all of these ones down here. I might do that eventually. I kind of just left them for now, and then I figured when I was creating, I could um, trim off what I don't want. There's a pocket here. I love this cute little um, penguin. This is a Doodle by Brandy Kincaid. There's a pocket here. I think this vellum pocket came from Felicity Jane. <clears throat> so yeah I just had so much fun creating these already and then I can't wait to see like what it looks like with photos and journaling and ephemera this is this paper here is really special I got this paper um it's handmade paper I got it in England when we were there for my brother's and Esther's wedding so I'm not talking about every page, but I wanted to give you guys like just a quick flip through. I recognize these hearts are upside down, but that was the only way to do this paper. But I think I can cover it with a photo. Who is that jolly fat man? I don't know. Here's a flip out. So yeah, that's kind of the idea. And then the thing is with a junk journal is that if you like get to this page and you're not happy with it, like you don't like the way that it looks on the day that you're working and you're not really happy with it, then you can like glue a couple pages together and just kind of hide that or you can cover it with gesso or paper or a photo or whatever. But I kind of love that this gives me like this really creative way to journal and document my December. It's just so fun. And I love that it just looks beautiful, like all on its own. Like it already looks really cute with all these like vintage papers and acetates and double-sided papers and stitchings and pockets. And it just looks so fun already. So yeah, I think it'll be really fun to create with. Um, I know some of you guys might be doing December dailies in junk journals. Um, if you are, let me know. I wanna know what your plan is down below, are you using a junk journal or an album? If you're using an album, what size album are you using? The last four years that I've done December Daily, I've done it in an album, so this is definitely gonna be different for me, but I'm excited about it. I think it'll be a fun challenge. And it's kind of like, I picture it like this, like you know all those um, people who like prep their December Daily, like before I do December daily prep pages or what do they call them? I can't think of the word right now. Um, it's kind of like I did that by making the book and stitching it together because it's like all of the pages are there and ready for me to go. And then in December I get to just like create and have fun and play with it. Like that's the fun part, right? And if I'm not happy about something, like you can even tear a page out if you're not, like if, if I'm not, crazy about this pattern, like it can come out of the book, that's not a problem. And the other thing that I love about junk journals is they're so beautiful just like on their own. Like I feel like this book is gorgeous, like on its own without anything even in it yet. So if I end up documenting my December and stopping and day 30 is here, or whatever, or day 25, whenever I decide to stop is here, and then there's like a whole extra signature that doesn't have anything in it. Like to me, that's okay because it still will look really pretty. Like I just love the way that this handmade paper next to this doily, next to this um, one-sided cardstock, just and next to this red, like that just looks so pretty. And then you've got this like super cute bunny illustration. So like to me, this looks pretty even on its own. And then when you add your words and your things, it just looks so cool. So yeah, I'm really enjoying this idea and I'm looking forward to creating with it. I think at the end it's gonna be super chunky and like crazy big, but that's okay. I'm excited about it. So um, it's not, what size is this? I wonder if I have a ruler here. I do. For those of you wondering, the cover size is about four and a half by eight 
eight and a half. So four and a half by eight and a half. And the pages inside are all different sizes, but they fit within that context. So um, I don't know if this album cover is still available anymore at Colorcast Designs, but I would go check them out. If she doesn't have this one, she, I'm sure she has other really gorgeous ones for December because she always comes out with like really beautiful ones. And you can make your own if you want extra holes. You'll just need to request those. Um, but you wouldn't even need to do Coptic book binding if like that seems like overwhelming to you. You could just get binder rings and like binder ring it together. I know that's a lot of people do that. And actually, if you binder ringed it together, that would probably give you more flexibility because you could take pages in and out easily. Um, but yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed that quick look and overview of what I'm planning on doing for my December daily. If you have any questions, leave them below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And my, the question for today or the question for the day is what are you planning on doing for your document December, December daily or Christmas memories album? If you're doing one, what's your plan? If you're not doing one, that's totally okay too. Leave me a comment and let me know that you're not doing one because I'm intrigued to hear what you guys are doing. I just love learning um, and seeing other people's ideas and their creative expression. So yeah, I think this is gonna be a really fun December daily for all of us as we create and I'm hoping to bring you guys along for the ride and I hope that you guys will enjoy seeing Kenya in Christmas time through my December daily. So <laughs> that was very dramatic, but <laughs> it should be good. Um, let me just hold this up so you guys get a better look and I'll see you guys later. Bye.